Hi kids, it's Gustav, the native English speaker from Montessori Preschool, and I'm here with another video lesson. Last time, we started to talk about the different kinds of places you could find on land, uh, as well as some of the things that you could find in those places. Today, I want to try to finish that lesson. And so, we're going to talk about more places. We're going to talk about what hot versus cold means. And we're going to talk about uh, more things that you could find within each of those places. First thing I would like to talk about are the words hot and cold. As you can see, this is hot 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 when it's hot people like to go to the beach the beach is hot do you guys remember the beach from our last video this is the beach when it's hot people like to go into the water to cool down because they feel so hot when it's hot, there are high temperatures. So, this is hot. Hot. During the summer, it is very hot. I hope you guys remember summer. While this, right here, this is cold. Cold. When it's cold, people tend to put on a lot of clothes so they can stay warm. You see right here? When it's cold, there is a lot of snow on the ground. The season that it is cold in is usually winter. I hope you guys remember winter. So, one more time. This is hot hot and this is cold cold in places that are hot you can usually find a lot of sand this is sand 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 is usually found on the beach here's sand can you guys find more sand there it is. This is sand too. When a place is very hot and has a lot of sand, as you can see here, this is all sand. We call this place the desert. So this is the desert and this is a desert. We call this desert desert you can see some cactuses here and some bushes right there we will talk about bush in a second can you guys find some hills remember hills from last lesson can you guys find some hills there they are they're right there as you guys can see some deserts only have sand while other deserts have a little bit of sand, but also some plants, like bushes and cactuses. But every desert is hot. So, remember, these places are both very, very hot. Do you like to go to the beach when it's hot? I know I do. The beach is a great place to relax. On the beach, we can build sandcastles, go swimming, or go in a boat. I hope you guys remember boat, and I hope you guys remember swim. During the summer, when it's hot, beaches are a lot of fun. In places that are really cold, you can find a lot of snow. Snow. This is what we call snow. 
Snow is a lot of fun to play in. One place that is really cold, we call a taiga. A taiga gets a lot of snow. Sometimes, even during the spring, I hope you remember spring, and during the fall. I hope you guys remember fall. So, can you guys find some snow in this picture right here? There it is. There's some snow. And if you look at these hills right here, there's some snow on them. Can you guys find a tree? You guys remember what tree is? There's a tree. And there's a tree. Actually, all of these are trees. You guys remember what we call it when a lot of trees are together? We call it a forest. A forest. Do you guys remember what kind of trees these are? We call all of these right here fir trees. So, a taiga has a lot of fir trees since fir trees usually do better in places that are cold this place is cold this is also a taiga and it is also cold do you guys remember hills from the last lesson well what do we call it when a hill gets really tall or really big? We call them mountains. So these are mountains and these are mountains. Mountain. Mountain. Mountains are usually cold places. Can you guys find the snow? There's some snow right there, and there's some snow as well. Mountains usually have a lot of rocks. Right here are some rocks. Here are more rocks. This is what we call rocks. Rock. Rock. You can find rocks everywhere. Sometimes, if you go outside, you can even find a nice small rock to take home. Most mountains are cold, but sometimes there can also be mountains in the desert. You guys remember desert? This is a desert. And this is a mountain in the desert. Okay. One of the last things I want to talk about are jungles. You guys remember how in the taiga I said there are a lot of fir trees when the, there are cold forests? Well, what about when a forest is hot? When a forest is hot, we call it a jungle. Jungle. So this is a jungle. And this is a jungle. Jungles have different types of trees and different types of plants in them. Jungles have a lot of bushes and a lot of vines. A bush is almost like a small tree. So, we call this a bush. Bush. Vines are sort of like snakes that like to grow up trees. So we call these vines. Vines. So, can you guys find the vines in this picture? There are some vines going up the tree, 
And here are some vines. What about some bushes? Can you guys find some bushes? Here are some bushes here at the bottom of this tree, right here. And this could also be a bush right here. So remember, when a forest is hot, we call it a jungle. A jungle. Okay, I think that's enough for today, kids. Remember all the things that we talked about today, okay? We talked about mountains, which are very big. They're very big. We talked about deserts and jungles, which are very, very hot. Whew. We talked about taigas, which are full of snow and very cold. <laughs> uh, and we also talked about rocks. We talked about bushes. We talked about vines. And we talked about sand, which is usually found where, you, where there are hot places. And we talked about snow, which is always found where it's cold. Okay? So, I think that's enough for today. Uh, next time, we will talk about some of the animals that we can find in these places. Okay? Have a nice day, kids. See you soon. Bye.